In another lifestyle's fashion first, meet a down-home supermodel who's more rodeo than Rodeo Drive. Shayna Zadrick grew up a Lizards and Frogs Colorado tomboy, unaware of her looks until friends coaxed her to try modeling. Incredibly, top Big Apple agencies couldn't find any work for the looker quite unlike any other. Now one of America's best-known faces, she commands $10,000 a day to strike a sultry siren's pose. But in real life, shoot, Shane is nothing like that. She's a rootin' tootin' cowgirl who shoots skeet, raises leopards, and defies every stereotype of the precious, pampered supermodel. I'm not like this, this sort of sex kitten or something that maybe I portray. I don't think. You know, I, I wear jeans every day. I'm not a fashion victim. I mean, my favorite store is The Gap. Uh, something you might not expect from me, I like to smoke cigars. <laughs> Called the new Sophia, Shana's the mega marketing secret behind multi-millions spent on Calvin Klein fragrance, Sports Illustrated, and blue jeans for the guest company. In just one year, she went from wondering if her look was maybe too unusual to becoming the hot rage of the 90s. The rewards of success? Incredible. Every day is Christmas for us. That's what I always say. It's like, at Christmas time, there's, you know, every day for me is just, is like that. It's, it's fabulous. And one of the Manhattan fashion editors who turned her down? They knew they'd goofed after she moved to Miami to give modeling one last chance. Photographers tripped over their tripods to get her in focus. Overnight, she became Florida's top-earning model, then hit the jackpot by replacing Claudia Schiffer as the new guest jeans icon. It generated such a whirl of attention that Shayna, still in her early 20s, was dazzled by the flashbulb frenzy. It went so quick and just, I couldn't believe it. Because I used to look at the guest ads and think, you know, I could do that, you know, I want to do that. Success breeds success. Calvin Klein saw the guest campaign and made an offer she couldn't refuse to embody his line of perfume. Shayna expected steamy scenes at the photo session for Escape, but not the wet and wild romp they had in mind. I had to do some pretty outrageous stuff with, with a male model. And we became quite good friends after spending, you know, two weeks together. But, you know, when you gotta, like, really kiss someone or lay on top of them on the beach or, you know, you had, we had to do all kinds of things. <laughs> and the last day I had to, that I was doing it, I had to do the horse commercial where I was riding. I rode for eight hours that day bareback. Escape. Shayna's escape from the world's fashion capitals is a 240-acre Sunshine State ranch deep in the woods and far from prying eyes. She is private enough to border on reclusive, and her own open invitation to Lifestyle's cameras was a first. It's my sanctuary, it's my privacy, and it's my place to get away. And I don't know how you got here. <laughs> you in. I'm like Annie Oakley when people come up here. I'm like, get out of my land, you know, with my gun. I don't want it to be pretentious or, or ostentatious. Or, you know, because this is me. I don't, maybe modeling is real glamorous and I may seem real glamorous on that side, but, you know, for real life, this is, this is what it's all about. Shayna met her entrepreneur husband on her very first Miami modeling assignment. Just one look was all it took for Steve to fall. I was floored. I just knew I wanted to marry her. <laughs> I did. I knew I, I knew I wanted to meet that girl. After the first date, I knew I wanted to marry her. Wed just three weeks from that first date, their down-home ways are a far cry from glitz and glamour. Shayna says, shucks, country comfort suits her fine. If I had a little truck and I worked at the corner store selling lettuce and, and I had one horse and there were no paved roads in the town, I mean, that would, that would be fine for me. To locals, she's affectionately known as Shayna, Queen of the Jungle. She and Steve are wild about big cats and own an exotic menagerie of leopards, lynxes, even lions. When I was very young and I read the book Born Free and I saw the movie, so it was just natural to name her Allison. Through breeding, they hope to help stave off extinction of the rare clouded leopard. Their plans include making a home for Bengal tigers and jaguars. For the beauty who lives by her looks, love pats from a lynx, even a little one, put her face and fortune on the line. Why do you want to hit mom? Why do 
you want to get out? Shayna accepts that risk. Wild animals are wild animals. And I, can, I always say that you can train them, but you can't tame them, you know? And that's the beauty of them also. You have to be careful in the way that you play with them because their plane is a 600-pound wallop that will send you flying. <laughs> Shayna stables 10 steeds, and as a cowgirl is the real McCoy. She even took two months off modeling to learn the ropes with thoroughbred mounts specially trained to herd cattle. She swapped rope and yarns with a country star at the Georgia Championships, then showed her mettle riding against the pros for a half million dollars in prize money. I love the smell of the manure. I love the, the boots and the spurs and the, the whole aura around it. I just could be around it all day long. The Greenhorn lassoed the ninth place trophy. Though her winnings hardly compared to $20,000 for a fashion show, Shayna couldn't have been happier. Like no other supermodel we've ever featured, Amazing Shayna is equally at home on the fashion runway, making television commercials and laying it all out for magazine spreads. She's riding high in the toughest game in town. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Shayna Zadrick, definitely more rodeo than Rodeo Drive. Still ahead, the wacky world of Penn and Teller, magic, mayhem and modems with the duo who broke the rules by letting the rabbit out of the hat. But first, the secret Shari Lewis keeps... Islands. Right now, we have a brand new model for you to meet. Her name is Shayna Zadrick. She's 21 years old and she hails from Grand Junction, Colorado. Shayna's only been modeling for less than a year, but her ads for guest jeans have already made her a big star. Let's pay her a visit. And I thought, I have to do something, you know, I have to do something with my life. I went to New York and um, tried to model. It was one of the few times that I tried to model, but I didn't take it very seriously. I wasn't very motivated about it. One time when I was in, in New York, they said that you can make a lot of money in Miami because a lot of the Europeans go there and shoot catalogs. Then I met my agent, Paul Rowland, who owns Men Women. And he came to Miami to see me, he brought me back to New York, and everything just took off from there. I then worked for Ellen for British Vogue. We did a shoe, and she thought, oh, this is our new guest girl, you know, we're looking for a new guest girl. I was the biggest tomboy. I mean, it was, oh, I shopped, I wore tough skins, I shopped in the boys' department. I rode skateboards, played with frogs, lizards, snakes. And I was really disappointed to find out I was a girl. I wanted to be a jockey, <laughs> but I got too tall <laughs> and too big. <laughs> so I thought, you know, when I get older, this, it's my dream to have a horse ranch and to break horses and to train horses and just live around horses. Oh, you whispering sweet nothings in my ear. I also am very interested in getting involved with animal rights. You're wearing beautiful fashions from the best designers in the world. You're working with the most talented photographers in the world. And at that point, it's glamorous. There's guidelines that you can use around you. It might be the elements around you, the wind or the sun, and you feel the angles of the clothes touching your body. But something does happen where you just feel really good and you just let go, and you're not quite yourself. It's all a world of make-believe. I keep my perspective on my life. You know, I've got my cats, they're like my babies. I've got my husband, my house, my, my life. You know, according to the American Automobile Association, 84% of all vacation travel being done this summer is being done by car. So what are people doing to while away those auto-bound hours? MTV News reporter Tad Lowe hits the road to find out. But is it possible to achieve fame by appearing in clothing ads? I guess it is. The guys and gals of Guess, our inside story for today. For Claudia Schiffer, it led to supermodel status. For Carrie Otis, it led to several covers and a movie role. For models all over the country, landing a job as a guest jeans girl can mean a ride right to the very top, a high-profile international campaign that can easily make a career. For 21-year-old, 5-foot, 10-inch Shayna, lightning has just struck. Just three months after arriving in New York, she is the new face of Guess. Guess was like an absolute dream come true. It's something that I looked at as a young girl 
and said, oh God, I would love to do that. You know, I think I could do that. You know, never even imagining that I could possibly be doing it. Now one of New York's hottest models and earning up to $10,000 a day, she was, before guests discovered her, uncertain about even attempting a career in modeling. I tried it off and on a few times before that. It just didn't, didn't work out. I would do it for two weeks and would quit become impatient. Her good fortune and perseverance may just result in her capturing the same kind of fame that Claudia Schiffer has. The most recognizable of all the guest girls, Claudia went from being a schoolgirl in Dusseldorf, Germany, to a cover girl on more than 200 magazines in just two years. Now mobbed when she makes personal appearances to promote guest perfume, Claudia never realized the glamorous life she would have when she first agreed to try modeling three years ago. I thought it was just like a kind of a job that you do after school and you earn maybe like a $200. You know, I thought it was this kind of stuff. I didn't know it was like a big thing. But guess ads don't always rely on discovering unknown talent. Actor Tom Scarra has been featured in the company's ads for four years. After his co-starring role in Top Gun, he was approached to be a guest man. They told him they liked his rugged yet approachable quality. He told them, yes, a decision at least partly based on the way earlier guest men had been photographed. You just saw a fleet. That's good. That's good. Make the sand fly. That's great. That's terrific. Okay, Lock. <laughs> I had to tease you. <laughs> I'm kind of new. <laughs> A whole year. But it's funny because when I always thought of modeling, it was like my dream to do Sports Illustrated. We have the guiders. She's never worked for Sports <laughs> Illustrated before. Shana and I were like, She's got a beautiful body, beautiful <laughs> attitude. And we have to tell her what we want. I don't want you running hard, but I want you running and kicking a little bit of sand. And you'll you'll stop right in that area where right you here? are right now. Okay. Okay? Right. I want to see sand. I want to know that you're actually running. Bob? Take some pictures of her going back sometime, please. I gotta have film. Try to keep your hands like this. No, down a little bit lower so they're not in front of uh, the swimsuit. But you want to look like I'm running. Uh, like... Uh, very nice. <laughs> but lower. Lower so you don't cover the swimsuit. Okay. Right there. I'm not the bikini girl, you know, I'm not really that type of girl. Come on. I'm inhibited. Sure. You try not, I'm trying not to be, I mean, with this, it's, and especially when they put such an emphasis, which is so wonderful, on just being yourself and the uniqueness of each girl which I think is fabulous. But um, that's really hard for me, because <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'll just cover up and hide and then run away. <laughs> Married. We, we... You guys have had a friend. No, you have a friend for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm blushing. It could be a story. <laughs> it could be a story. <laughs> Everyone here is married except Vendela. I think that's why she's. <laughs> yeah, everybody we all eloped. eloped here, so I am eloped me. at. <laughs> <laughs> Soon she'll be telling her story next year, right? I and hope it's so. Because I'm <laughs> okay. Dana, take that right leg. Oh. For kids, to see Siegfried and Roy, it is $72 a head. Our guess is that you'll remember right away where it was you first saw this face. If you guessed, guess, go right to the head of the class. Shayna Zadrick is now a supermodel, but you'd never guess that by seeing her down home on the ranch.
The guest campaign shot Shayna Zadrick's modeling career onto the supermodel fast track. But when she takes a break from the runway, you'll find her on a catwalk with her husband, Stephen, and some surprising pets. Here on her ranch in Ocala, Florida, Shayna spends her days off with her favorite big cats, an African lion and a Siberian tiger. She's going to be a five, six, maybe 700 pound tiger. They possess a quality that I think is uh, sort of sensual and uh, graceful and majestic. Fashion photographers around the world would probably describe Shayna with those same adjectives. At just 24, she can make over $10,000 a day. Her supermodel salary bought her this rustic retreat. She would rather spend time here than in the fashion fast lane. I'd rather be getting dirty and scooping up horse manure and, <laughs> and uh, riding around four-wheelers and shooting skeet. And I'd rather be home. But Shayna's career is only skyrocketing up. Calvin Klein recently chose her for a prestigious perfume campaign. Shayna says life on the ranch is what makes her happy, and that's the key to her modeling success. I'm happy, so I think that's also a reflection in, in the work that I do. You know, it comes off. I mean, so maybe I'm not as, like, great-looking as a lot of the other girls when they come in because they spend all day preening, but it's something that comes from the inside. So with a career in high gear and friends on four feet a foot at home, Shayna is definitely on a high. She's high as a kite. How about those cats? Friendly little pets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go well with your Dalmatian at cats, home? Cat scratch. <laughs> yeah. This weekend, by the way, Shayna is busy in Paris modeling the latest high fashion creations. Then she's off to London, and after that, it's anybody's guess. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We have the scholar's way to look at movies up next.